Okay, welcome back, welcome back. We're going to actually break down some, you know, Pete Werner film and not just a highlight. So we'll just jump into this real quick. My guys here, we go do every play, every play of this game. Nice little zone coverage. Good play by him because he wasn't assigned to the quarterback here. So if we slow this down, it's a corner blitz here, as you can see. So this guy's responsible for this quarterback on his own read. That's kind of why the end crashes down. <clears throat> and it's actually a great design, too, because the quarterback doesn't see this. Doesn't see this. So he thinks he has a free pull. He breaks down. Quarterback gets, you know, beats him there. Good job to get back, make that tackle. Missed tackle there. And as much as it looks like it's, it's it's his fault here, show you why it's not. Watch this guy. Look at five. Boom. He stumbles here, which already, you know, throws him off. So you take that stumble out, he should be somewhere up in here already. And they're running a little counter. By him stumbling, boom, this guy can actually get to him. He, his receiver doesn't get to him if, if he doesn't stumble. And now if he doesn't stumble, he's already here, which means this guy's going to have to cut back here. But since he stumbled, they're able to get to the outside. And he's in the correct spot if that guy cuts up here. But nope. And this guy's McCaffrey, by the way. CMC's younger brother. And he still almost makes it. Still almost makes it. Notice how five is hustling hard. He know he know he messed this play up. So he's he's gonna hustle the whole way. He knew it was his you know responsibility. My guy's hustling. I would still like Warren to be able to get there, but understand why he didn't. And as you can see, Browning hustled all the way. All the way down there. Made up for that mistake. Five again. Another mistake. Can't find the ball. Nice job getting his hands on this receiver here. He probably could have rolled it a tad bit more, especially since there's nothing in the flats over here. Nothing in the flats. So as he pushes off, he's you know he's getting back to his flat responsibility, but there's nothing there. So I'd like you know for him to ride, ride that push just a little bit more, right there. Watch this. It's it's two blockers, three guys. He dives in here, and he should never do that. See now, if this guy catches it. Psh, Look at this wall they could make. But this guy misses the block. He cuts it back inside for some strange reason. But he should honestly hit that sideline next time. <laughs> or not next time because it won't be the next time. But he should have just hit that sideline. Because they, they had it set up. Especially once Pete jumped inside. So he kind of kind of got bailed out right there. It's great right here. Don't overreact to the crossing route, knowing you're in the zone. Pick up the one that's coming. Because usually if it's a, a underneath route, it's one coming over top as well. As you can see, I know it actually actually did take a peek that way if you watch his head. Kind of knows it's coming. Boom, reads it. On 35, that's nice. Boom, he reached this perfect. 
runs into a brick brick wall and that lineman. Not quite sure what the other linebacker was doing or where he was. Uh, he's overplaying that, which kind of has to. Now it's a, a five on five here. Everybody wins their block for Nebraska. Oh, great play here. Great play. Great play. Just beats the beats that guard inside. Nice. Super nice. We're right here. Yeah, she's not fooled. I hate when people overreact to this jet sweep. If you're playing this, that's not your responsibility. You have to focus on your responsibility. Boom. Dive straight down. Beast this guy inside. Blows that up. Good tackle for loss. Excellent. That's a nice pickup by that running back. This quarterback likes to run it. I see. A lot of quarterback draws. I do think one thing he will may struggle with next level, but he can't always get stronger. Watch how this, this lineman gets to the second level. And that size difference. If linemen get free, you know, free releases to the second level, he'll probably struggle. It's He can't do anything about that. Kind of undersized. My guy's just getting, getting around all over the place. My God, does a nice job reading these crossing routes once again. However, look at these two kids. One of you should be here. I don't know what they're doing. So that's definitely probably on 32 if I had to guess. Yeah, most definitely because he, he starts here. He drops here. He drops dead center and then he drops here. I have no idea why he released so far outside right here. Perfect. He's perfect. If he's here, he can guard both of those guys. Just sit right in between them. But he's there. Not our problem. Good hip. Heavy play action. <clears throat> Excuse me. Heavy play action. Now you got to get on your horse. You got to get on your horse here. Doesn't get back, obviously, in time, but he does what he's supposed to do. Once again, that second level. Free releases to the linebacker. Kind of fights through it, kind of get hooked, kind of gets hooked a little bit, but Nebraska is actually doing a great job of blogging. I don't know who has this tight end. Okay, he comes from across. So I don't know if they're a man or what. So I can't say whose fault this is. Oh, it's five again. <laughs> it's been five. It's been five a couple times. But I don't know how they're taught. 
because some people would expect Warner to pick this guy up in some schemes, but the way five is still running after 11, I'll just assume it's him. But not sure. Well, I see. See, he tried to pass it off. So, as you can see, he tries, he tries to pass it off. He's calling it. He's calling it right here. They're supposed to pass that off. So, miscommunication here. Somebody else is supposed to take 11. He kind of notices they don't. And then, he's just, he's just left in no man's land. Yeah. He's, it's no way he can get there. So, he did the right thing trying to pass that off. But... Other linebackers just didn't get that, didn't get that memo. That's a nice play design, a crack, a little crack block coming down on him. This play is all, all on the corner. Warner did his job exactly correct on that. But watch, seven. All right, it's a crack block here, and he following the crack block like it's a drag route. So, boom, it's actually a good play design because they're they're in man, so he's following him, and now they're just he's he should still be out here, but he's not. Warner's basically getting double teamed, crack block held right there. Corner should still be here. He's not, and just, just free outside, free space. Once again, <laughs> Lyman get nasty with him. Mm, just confusing. See, I like this. This is kind of a concept the Saints run too. Boom, it's heavy play action. It's a little... Still so right across the field here. And after he bites, boom, he notices. Time to get on your horse. So this guy that's coming over, you have to try to beat him to this spot. And don't know if he would have. He has a corner here too, but he's back on his horse trying to. That's a way to win a battle one time. Good little rip. Tired of getting bullied by these big guys. That's his job. This is perfect. This is a perfect job by him. This is a perfect job. Almost like a little triple option. Fake the fullback dive. Quarterback's reading this guy. Who dives in? Which means he's going to pull the option out. It really should be a win right now. Boom. But he beats his guy. Attacks that outside shoulder. And even if the quarterback cuts it up, which he does... Looks like he should have something, but he's playing this. He's playing this, uh, you know, role. Makes him cut inside, and still has the awareness to notice that's where he's going. And boom, dives back inside, makes that tackle. Because in all honesty, they should have gotten way more than what they got. Because once this guy dives down, I mean, just look at the numbers. You got a free guy here, guy here. Basically, one, two, three, four on two guys. And he plays it perfect. Six yard gain that should have been maybe, you know, 10 plus. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. I like that. I love that. Why is this dude so casual with the ball? But anyways, what a play. It's his best play I've ever seen from him. Boom. 
home. He's patient reading his keys here. Notice how he stays home just in case it's a, you know, read with the quarterback up the gut. He's staying home, staying home. Boom, notice that the running back doesn't have the ball. Gets on his horse. Great job by him making him cut it up. Good pursuit. But the best part, oh, quarterback's already fumbling. Boom. Gets him there. Because he can recover this ball back. This quarterback can definitely get back on this ball. Boom. Like he can easily fall on that. But the punch from behind, boom. Kind of twists him, make him, make him punch it away from him. It's a great play there. And then this guy, I don't know what he has going on. But basically causes a touchdown. <laughs> oh, man. Sniper. Sniper. I'm sorry. But we, it's a sniper. It's a sniper on the field. It's a sniper. Pew! Got him. <laughs> Got him. Um, I want to say oh, some backups in on this play. I wonder if the starters get back in. Or if that's it. Oh, backups, backups, backups. Backups once again. I would assume the starters come back in after this long run. <laughs> what do you know? Starters are back in. Good tackle there. Good pursuit. Third down. Oh, wow, they blew this. I just want to watch this play design. It's great play design. Boom. He's coming in the flats. He won't be able to get there. Sean Wade does an excellent job noticing that. Switch. Boom. He's supposed to switch back. Here. He's kind of reading the quarterback. Warner. It's kind of a spy more than anything. But I would like him to drop just a tad bit. Just a tad bit here to kind of get in that window. He doesn't. It's, I mean, you have to complete this. I don't know. You have to complete that pass. That's bad football. Great football, but bad football. I'm going to cut up under these linemen because this was bad. If he stays here... <laughs> That's going to end bad for him. That's perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect. A little bubble screen. That's not a bubble screen. That's running back flare almost. Boom. Him versus a tight end. Boom. As I always say, he gets that arm fully extended. Get this guy away from your body. Now you can throw him off you. Boom. Makes him cut it up. Where the help is coming. I always want to make him cut it up the field. These guys do a good job too. They kind of help him. And then your help is on the way. But you get that first. Help arrives later. Perfect. Can't get any better than that. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, not not a bad not a bad game against Nebraska. I'll definitely check out some of these other games. There's a lot of film on him out here. Or just on Ohio State in general. So hey man, thank y'all for tuning in once again. This is the boot tragedies. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that good jazz. And I'm out.